Researchers in England say there's new evidence an artificial pancreas can help to better control blood sugar levels in young children with type 1 diabetes. Families are calling it life-changing. Ian Lee reports from Cambridge. Eight-year-old Eddie is juggling a lot in his life, school, sports, and his type 1 diabetes. It's a handful for his parents, too. When you get a child who has been diagnosed with diabetes, it is really, really obviously very scary. Eddie's family says managing his glucose levels has been a difficult 24-hour job, testing his blood 12 times a day and injecting insulin. Yeah, my fingers um, got a, bit, a little bit sore from having it a lot of times. And you have this cannula? Now a team at Cambridge University in England has found an artificial pancreas may be better than traditional treatment at controlling the disease in very young children. So there's three components to the closed loop. So there's the glucose sensor, the app on the phone, and the pump. Current treatment requires parents to manually adjust insulin levels, but the wearable technology replaces the constant poking and prodding. And then it automatically calculates how much insulin should be given um, to get the glucose levels to, to the healthy range. And it then tells the insulin pump how much insulin to give. Get more time. Other artificial pancreas systems have been developed around the world. Yeah. Cambridge researchers tested their technology on children ages 2 to 7 and found blood sugar levels were stable for longer. And particularly overnight, more than 80% of the time, the glucose levels were in the healthy range giving Eddie and his family their lives back. I can bounce on trampoline, I can play with my dog. I can do anything, but now all I have to do is have some insulin or have something to eat, then I can go back to playing. And enjoying just being a kid. Ian Lee, CBS News, Cambridge, England.